It's like Christmas around here. You should see the stuff that coming to the door today. All kinds of stuff for the chicks that are going to be here next Tuesday. We're on the countdown. We got what? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Four days. They're going to be here. Oh, so exciting. And I was talking to my two little nieces today and they're locked down and they can't come and see them. They're so excited. But I told them they get to watch the videos and they get to see the chicks on the videos. So Ireland and Lyric, you better watch because on next Tuesday, they're going to be here. Yeah. Who's that out here? Oh, that would be Walter. Hello, Sir Walter. What you doing? You're just napping out in your cage this afternoon, eh? Kind of a dull day. Yeah, it's kind of a dull day here for the weather, but not for what's going on. Who oh, no. knew? I got some really exciting updates. And I just want to let you know, yesterday we did start on the chicken tractor. I got a little bit of filming done. There we go. First cut of the chicken tractor. But there's some, uh, we, you know, screwed up on a few things. So we, we're putting it together. I'm not going to take out the screw-ups. That's the best part of it, okay? This is how you learn. You know, I always say, if you don't make a mistake, you'll be as dumb as a stump. You'll never learn nothing. That's how I learn my best, best lessons, through a mistake. Anybody can do everything right all the time. But when you make a mistake, oh, do you remember that the next time? Oh, yeah, good learning lesson. So there's nothing major, but I made a few mistakes here and there. And it's looking good. It's five feet by three feet. It's going to be tons of room. Now, folks, I just... I just can't believe all that stuff that came today. Talk about exciting. Oh my gosh. I want you to take a look at what come to my door today, okay? It was so exciting. What was that? Okay, let's go take a look. Friend stopped in today, gave me this stand for my camera to use because they asked me what I was using to film on YouTube, and I said, well, all I have is my Nikon because I tried my phone, and my phone will film, but the problem is it won't upload to my Minimac. For some reason, I plug it into the Minimac to upload it. Minimac won't recognize my phone. I called my son, of course, you know, my go-to, help, how come this won't work? You know, because us old people, that's what we do. We call our kids because they know everything, and all he could figure is the phone is just too old, <laughs> kind of like his mother. So, you know, it won't recognize, be recognized by my computer. So all I've been able to use is my Nikon camera, which is heavy for filming. And they asked me, you know, what I was using. And I told them, and look, they brought me over this huge camera stand. So it's just like Christmas. And then you won't believe what come next. It's a chick warmer. Brincy Eco Glow. It's like, are you kidding me? I looked at these. Oh, man, they're expensive for five little chicks. Yeah, and I went, oh, no, no, I'm not buying that. They'll get their light. But a friend of mine called me up and was talking to me about my videos and told me they knew somebody that raised chicks. So they said they'd call and see if they had anything I could borrow from them. Well, guess what? They just came to my door and dropped this off and told me I could use it. And they didn't need it right now. When I'm done with it, just bring it back. People are so friendly in the farming community. Can you believe this? A little chick warmer. Yeah, I'm so excited. All oh, the chicks are going to love this. They're going to stay so nice and warm under here. And it's got those elevated legs. That's the thing I really liked about it because you can move it up and down. I'm telling you, it's just like Christmas around here. And that's not all. I got another knock on the door. Now look what came. Yeah, a brooder light. Somebody come by and drop me off a brooder light. They're still going to need light inside their brooding area, so come on, this is perfect. Yeah, look at this. And they just, friend of mine, saw the videos, dropped it off. I just can't get over how people are just so kind. Oh, wait. Now the next one. Knock, knock, knock. Here's another one that came look to the door. This. this came to the door, too. <laughs> A friend of mine saw me building my brooder and going, are you kidding me? They knew you could use a tote, so they dropped this off. I'm just going to flip it over because I cleaned it all with Dawn. And there it is. It's huge. 
Now this is in my bathtub. I cleaned it all, washed it. But before I put them in it on Tuesday, it's going to go outside. I've got a balcony out front. I'm going to put it out there so the sun will bleach out any contaminants in it because, you know, might as well use the best. But I cleaned it all out. And I'm going like, are you kidding me? I'm telling you, it's like Christmas around here. So now the chips are going to go in here. And let me see again because I looked at it and it is, it's 104 liters. So that's where they're going. And they got the new brood warmer. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? People are so kind. And I am so thankful to be there. What a great group of people. I really am thankful. They are, they're just fantastic. I'm not kidding you. You put out a call, any of them have anything, and they're just like, sure, 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 sure. I mean, the d people just kept knocking on my door today. It was crazy. So thank you, thank you so much. Such a kind group of people. You guys got to get into this farming community. I'm not kidding you. They are the greatest. A great bunch of people. These chicks are going to be living in a palace with everything. What a great, great bunch of people. And I'm going to be in their community, even though I live in the city, because I'm a city farmer. Yeah, I'm the regenerative apartment farmer. So I'm a farmer now. So guess what? I'm in their community. So they got big fields. So they got big farms. Who cares? I got an apartment. I got some chicks coming. I'm a farmer. Yes, so exciting. Um, can't think of anything else right now. But if I do, you know me, you'll hear about it. The plants that I planted, they sprung up. Let's go look. Now that is the lettuce. Can you believe that? Two days and look at it already. Yeah, I just took the plastic off it to show you. Oh boy, these chucks are going to eat so good. Now let's check the next one. I don't know if anything's under this. This one's parsley. Let's check it. I don't see anything yet. I don't know, can you guys see anything in there? Let's check this one. Oh, look at we got one. Here they come after only two days. Oh, this is so exciting. These chicks are going to eat so good. Please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button and ding that bell. So the next time we put a video up, you're here to watch it. Okay, folks, stay tuned for the journey. It's going to be a clucked to plucked adventure. Say bye-bye, Walter. Say bye-bye, YouTubies. That's my Walter. Thanks again for viewing. Okay, folks. Bye-bye.